Welcome, viewers and subscribers, to the Clean Bowl channel. A very special welcome to each and everyone tuning in to take in this new video, which we've just rolled out, entitled 10 Best Wicketkeeper Batsmen Who've Represented the West Indies in Test Cricket. Now, fans, it's very important to note that the wicketkeeper position in cricket is a very important and physically demanding one. The wicketkeeper or custodian has to be athletic and versatile in order to support fast, medium, spin, and slower bowlers while in a fully or semi crouch position. Now, as if those specialized skills were not enough, the wicketkeeper is also expected to carry his or her bat during the team's turn at the crease. Now, over the course of West Indies Test cricket, there have been several wicketkeeper batsmen who have shined with both glove and bat. Their outstanding efforts have been match saving on occasions and have come to be appreciated and celebrated by West Indians and also by cricketing fans the world over. Now, folks, the Clean Bowl channel will be featured, featuring and honoring a selection of 10 of the best wicketkeeper batsmen who've represented the West Indies in a minimum of 20 tests. That's right, a minimum of 20 test matches. And we would like to ask that you please hit the like and subscribe prompts right up front. We appreciate your support. Now, viewers, let's get started with our countdown of our 10 top West Indies wicketkeeper batsmen, beginning with number 10 and working our way down to number one. As always, we fully welcome all respectable comments. Again, a reminder that each and every one posting, please adhere to the uh, YouTube guidelines for respectability. Now, let's get started. We will take our list from number 10. Right off, we have for you fans in the number 10 position, Courtney Brown, who played 20 matches for the West Indies at the wicketkeeper position from 1995 to 2005 and averaged 16 runs. Moving on to number nine, we have Jackie Hendricks. Jackie hailed out of Jamaica and kept wicket for the West Indies between 1962 and 69 in 20 tests, averaging a little over 18 and a half runs per. In the number eight position, we have for you Shane Dorich, who kept wicket for the West Indies between 2016 and 2020 in 35 test matches and averaged 29 runs per. At the number seven position is Junior Murray out of Grenada, who in 33 test matches between 1993 and 2002 as a custodian, averaged 22.3 runs per. In the number six position, we have Jerry Alexander, who hailed out of Jamaica and kept wicked for the West Indies between 1957 and 1961 in 25 test matches. Jerry Alexander averaged 30 runs per test match for the West Indies during that span. In the number five position, we have Derek Murray out of Trinidad and Tobago, who from 1963 and 1980 was an outstanding custodian, spanning 62 test matches and averaging close to 30 runs per. In the number four position, we have Ridley Jacobs out of Antigua and Barbuda who kept wicket for the West Indies between 1998 and 2004 in 65 test matches with a healthy batting average of 28.3. At number three, we have Trinidadian Dinesh Ramdin, who kept wicket for the West Indies between 20, sorry, 2005 and 2016. Dinesh kept wicket for the West Indies in a total of 74 test matches on average, 25.8 per. At number two, we have out of Jamaica, Jeffrey Dujon, who played for the West Indies as a wicket keeper between 1981 and 1991 in 81 test matches. That's right, 81 test matches and averaged almost 32 runs per. Now, that takes us down to what the Clean Bowl channel has termed the number one. That's right. The number one wicketkeeper batsman to have ever represented the West Indies in Test cricket. None other than Sir Clyde Walcott out of Barbados, who from 1962 
from 1947 to 1960 in his custodial position, played in 44 test matches, and averaged, get this, a whopping 56.7 runs per test match. That's right, 56.7 runs. And there you have it, fans. This is the Clean Bowl Channel's 10 best West Indies wicketkeeper batsmen over the course of a minimum of 20 test matches. Thank you for tuning in. And again, if you missed it up front, please do hit the like and subscribe buttons at this point in time. We appreciate it. Thank you.